Like, what, what am I doing? Like, what is happening? Like, what? Fuck. Oh god, the chills, man. <laughs> yeah. Before I say anything, yes, you will be seeing an iPad Pro versus iPad Air 3 comparison coming very, very soon, but this is what I had time for tonight, and you might be thinking, well, what exactly is this? And from the title, you could probably already guess, today I'm going to expose myself. Except not quite myself now, but of nine years ago, when I was 10 or 11 years old using this device right here, my iPod Touch fourth generation. And this device is very near and dear to my heart. It's very nostalgic. I remember begging for an iPod Touch for like years and I finally got, I think the best iteration of it, the fourth gen, which introduced front and back facing cameras and had the same processor as the iPhone 4 at the time. So this was a very impressive device, especially with its retina display. And it served as a great gaming device and just a creative tool for me, even though most of the stuff on here is just stupid and cringy and we're going to uncover it today. But before before we continue, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the algorithm likes that, and we'll help push my content to more people. First up, let's take a look at the outside casing here. I think this is like polished aluminum, maybe stainless steel. I think it's aluminum. Look at how scratched up it is. I mean, I adored this device, but I mean, like, there's definitely some wear and tear on here. So I use this in pretty much every element for everything. And um, yeah, it still holds up today and it still holds a charge. And like, look at how small it is in my hands compared to like my iPhone 11. It's just such a humongous difference. And I think it's kind of reflective of how I've grown, right? This is like the 10 year old me versus the almost 20 year old me. It's kind of funny, I think. But without wasting any more time here, let's turn this device on. And here is the iOS 6 lock screen with a picture of my cat who is thankfully still alive and kicking. He's now like 15 years old. But yeah, I couldn't install iOS 4 on this, but this is the closest authentic experience I could get you know for you guys so here we go let's unlock here with the really satisfying lock screen sound oh i love that i can't help but love the skeuomorphic design of ios 6 and the previous versions of ios so this ipod is actually restored from a backup that i did in like 2011 i think so this is pretty authentic 10 11 year old me um although it's a little bit reorganized from what i can tell um the games on here and of course the photos and videos which we'll get into that's the juiciest part of this video that i'm going to save for last here um this is pretty much what i had on my ipod at the time let's look at some of the games here i'm not going to open all of them we have minecraft pop Pocket Edition. We have Nyan Cat. We have Doodle Army. I just want to open this up. I loved this game. I remember playing it when I was like, oh my god, nine years old on my cousin's like iPod Touch third generation. And basically, it's a really simple 2D game. Let's do boot camp. So you just walk around and just <laughs> shoot your enemies. And that's basically it. You just pick up bigger and badder guns after a while. And yeah, it's super, it's a super simple game, but this is like, this is like pure nostalgia, this game for me, um, along with many others on this device. We got Cooking Mama, we got Pocket Planes, we have Tetris, Subway Surfers. We got Angry Birds on here, although it doesn't open sadly on this device anymore. We have Cut the Rope, that was a game. That, that, I'm just like, this is all, it's all coming back to me, man. It's just like, wow, time has passed. Let's make an experiment. Yep, I remember this. Quality games, man. Quality iOS games. I don't know what happened to them. Maybe I just don't play them and I don't know enough now, but I loved Cut the Rope when it came out. And so did my twin sister, who actually had the exact same device that I did. We both got them for a birthday, like, almost 10 years ago. We got Paper Toss. <laughs> This was a fun one. This was a fun one. This is an OG iOS game here. Will it open up? This is something I don't remember. The A4 is not that fast of a chip. Um, I can't believe that we lived with that back then, but you know what? We did, and we didn't have a problem. Yeah, this was fun and really, really frustrating. Oh. There we go. Okay. Yep, that's about that. And you can multitask if you remember an iOS 6 like this. A little like side like bottom bar thing gotta remember that and then if you wanted to quit an app you would just hold it down and press the minus button those were the days man ios 4 i think to ios 6 had that kind of multitasking mode look to it there's also doodle jump this was like the second game that i downloaded on this ipod touch i remember this and i actually still play it to this day i have it on my galaxy fold it's still one of the best ios and android games ever made i think as you know here, I have to hold it like this because I don't want the iPod to go out of focus. But yeah, you just you just vibe, you know, and you go on the springs and whatever, and then... Oh no! 
We also had Where's My Water Ramps, the moron test, man. Oh my god. Touch the hook after the shirt. This is this game still does that to you even like nine years later. Maybe I'm just stupid, but just ah I remember being frustrated by that, but it was really fun, too And then we had plants versus zombies and I'm not gonna play a game But damn this was like my first game that I downloaded on my iPod because my cousin had it And every time I saw him I would force him to let me use his iPod and play this game We all loved it. We all loved this game so much and spent so much time on it I mean hours and hours and hours I remember like accidentally deleting the app and crying because I lost all of my progress But yeah, this game is one of the classics. You can't really do better than this. I don't think so I mean, maybe that's just me being a you know, nostalgic person, you know, I don't know any good games of today, but this game was lit. I mean, just like so good. Oh God, the chills, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how to do the whoa, but I would if I could. <laughs> Although this is the most basic level, this is just so... Oh, I love this. I, I need to play this now. I'll, I'll download it on my new phone, honest to God. Yep, yep. Plants vs. Zombies, don't even get me started. I could play it for hours, so we're not going to do that. But now, things are going to get real. I'm going to go into my photo library. And although I'm not going to show you everything, just for my own dignity, I'm going to show you a lot of what was happening in my life when I was 10 and 11 years old. So let's, um, let's crack this open here. This first picture is a picture of my webkins. I don't know, I think it was like my first one or something, but I remember opening my iPod right after dinner. I almost choked on my food, I was so excited. And um, this is the first thing I took a picture of, and that's that's kind of cool, I think. Um, I don't know where this stuffed animal is, but yeah, that explains that picture. I'm not gonna go through every one, but the second picture I took is of my sister who got the same exact iPod on the same day because we're twins and it was our birthday. And um, I'm sure she'll kill me when I find out I put her in a video without asking her. So if I don't post another video, you'll know why. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a picture of my sister using her iPod. See that? And the beautiful VGA quality that this camera took. So yeah, we were having a fun time here. This is, oh my God. This is a video of me playing the piano, um, like in 2010. And I think I'm playing the Angry Birds theme song. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> No, I'm playing the Cantina Band from Star Wars. A little off key, but you know what? Impressive for being 10. I'll give myself that. Bravo. <laughs> of course, we have some obligatory cat pictures. And then I think we have a picture of my cousin who is now taller than me. I hadn't seen him for a couple months and he's now taller than me. He's like 14 and it bugs the shit out of me. <laughs> Here's me with my cat and my silhouette glasses with no border. Oh, but there's my cat. He's pretty cute. And then here's my other cat. He's been dead for like seven years. So yay. Here's a picture of my sister blowing bubbles on like a either September or October day in 2010. Wow. That's an old picture for me. Look at the dynamic range in this camera. It's just so good. Look at this overexposed, underexposed. The color is just totally crap, but this is what we had at the time. And I loved taking pictures with this camera here. So I used to have this sketchbook app where I'd put photos and I'd like draw over them. I'd like zoom in and like color things in and draw these weird things. And here's one of them. I also did it to my cats too, like, okay. And there's, <laughs> there's me looking like Ozzy Osbourne. What the f***? Oh, okay. Um, Noah, sure. That, cool. That's, that's dope. A rainbow. 
Uh, there's my cousin <laughs> with like whatever that's going on here. Is he Poseidon? Who knows? There's uh, my sister tossing a soccer ball in the air. And then I did it to my cats too. We got Ozzy Osbourne of this cat. And then we have the same blue hair happening on this cat with a chain. Okay. Oh, okay. So I saw this last night. I, mm, okay. So this was edited in iMovie with some crappy like iMovie default music. I, I'm just not going to say anything else. Just wait. Just wait. This is, this is humiliating. This is, mm. Like what, what am I doing? Like what is happening? Like what, <laughs> like wh why? Why? Like what, what goes on in the mind of a 10 year old? I don't know. I don't want to know. It's just, mm. Yep. So that, that exists on my iPod. You're welcome. I uh, just, mm, moving on. Okay. So we have a recording of penguins of Madagascar on a really old four by three TV we used to have. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen is just the best. Okay, here's something interesting. I used to make like cardboard phones out of like paper and construction paper, cardboard and tape and glue when I was like eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. And um, I really like got a process going and they went from being really crappy to like really cool. Like, these things actually resembled smartphones, although they were like totally not sized right and of course didn't look real. They were like representations of what I wanted, right? What I couldn't have as a little kid. You know, I didn't have money to buy a phone and my parents were about to drop a couple hundred dollars and buy me an iPhone 4 when I absolutely didn't need it. So I made my own. And here's an example of that. I had like the icons glued and hand drawn and stuff. And I used to make these for people. Look at this iPhone 4 and like the, this horribly drawn Apple logo, but that was cool. I got the CCFFC logos on here. God, there's a little camera too, like. Cool. And I actually remember like taking paper and like taping it around the side so you wouldn't see the cardboard, you know, in between. So yeah, I had a process going. I hope that I still have these around. Here's a 10 year old video of my family having a pizza dinner. My grandparents. It was Halloween. Oh my God. It's like, I think, I think that's Halloween because of the jack-o-lantern. And my sister is playing cut the rope in the background. Look at this. Actual gaming happening in in 2010. Yeah, there's gaming. <laughs> so yeah, this is cool. You know, it's very seldom you see like videos from this long ago. It's sort of like a time capsule. I was really happy to find that I took this dumb little video. Although at the time I thought it was stupid. Um, that's really cool. Okay, here's an old screenshot of a home screen that I had. Here's the old iOS 4 FaceTime logo. I just had like, I don't even know why I did this. I like took multiple screenshots and had the apps like overlay and like sort of like blend together. The old YouTube app was on there. Oh my God, you can see Monkey Ball. I didn't have that downloaded. I used to play Space Wars. Oh my, just the old iMovie app. You can see that. Wow. Tons of apps that I no longer have in my library or I, I'm unable to download. We have a flight control too, but as you can see, we had Plants vs. Zombies and a couple other apps on there that I mentioned beforehand. This might be the first selfie that I've ever taken. Um, cool, dude. <laughs> I had a really round head. I used to have these borderless glasses. Wow. So yeah, that, that should be like fourth-ish grade that I was in. Here's a picture that I drew of the iMac G4, and yes, I was a total fanboy back then. Not anymore, although I do prefer to use Apple products. It's simply because of Final Cut Pro and iMessage. I like other products too. I'm currently using the Galaxy Fold as my daily driver, so a lot has changed since then, but I used to be a die-hard, dogmatic Apple fanboy for sure. All right, here's a video that was taken with my friend of like 10 years now, and uh, we were playing with Legos, and. I don't exactly remember how this goes. I haven't watched it in a while, but let's see what dumb s we were doing. It's going to watch, launch. This oh is my god. Fun. My Over voice. Okay. One. Wait, 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 wait. One, Legos were so cool two, back then. Three. Go. The bowl cut. He's being too loud. I'm like, shut up, dude. <laughs>
That was my voice. That that's what we did. That's that's what ten year olds do. Moving on. Okay, um, moving on. Oh, okay, this video is probably the best thing I've captured this decade. All of my YouTube videos pale in comparison. And let me preface this by saying my friend and I used to shoot music videos. We used to play like pop music at the time and just dance to it for some reason. And we were in my kitchen and there was a full dishwasher load of, of dishes in, in the tray and, and just, you'll know what happens. Okay, ready, set, go. Oh my god. Okay, so what happened was that when we were about to dance, the thing was down, like the dishwasher was down. I'm like, oh, this is down. I gotta put it up. I pushed it up with dishes in it, and they all crashed and fell. I don't know if anything broke, but it certainly made a lot of noise. And yeah, that was that was the video of the decade for me. Okay, here's a picture of me wearing an oversized suit. I think I was dressed up as Abraham Lincoln or something. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a look for me. Here is a picture of Finder that I drew. So that kind of adds to the whole Apple fanboy-ism that I had back then. So I must have taken this picture when I was 10 because this is a picture of me when I was like six or seven years old in front of an old school iMac. My love for technology goes way back. And I think there's a picture before, yeah. This is a picture of me like five years old, I think in kindergarten and we had Emacs. This is a really old picture of me. And yeah, that's like 2005, I think. And th like, there you go. This is this is why I do this channel. This is why I know and love tech. I'm not doing it for the clout. I love this stuff. So this is a this is evidence or a testament to that. Some more dancing. This song is still lit to this day. I think it's like just dance. <laughs> what is going on? Oh no! Get down from that chair. No. No, 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 no. You know what's funny? Oh, wait. Okay, yep, we're gonna stop, we're gonna stop. I got crunk back then, and that still stands true today, except nobody sees me do it. <laughs> I just dance privately when I'm up shooting stuff and editing at like 2 or 3 a.m. I'm just like, and I actually can dance better now, but that's none of your business. That will be for another expose in like 10 years, maybe. Who knows? What the f*** is this? Okay, sure, yep, cool, I don't know what that means. This is a picture of me in Best Buy holding the iPad 3. So there you go, this has been an old school passion for me. I loved iPad, I loved Apple products at a very young age. And look at that haircut, man, oh my god. This is me with the second worst hair I've ever seen on me. And I'm explaining um, something for a contest that I entered, I drew something. So yeah, I called it Sauron defeated because in the Lord of the Rings, he explodes and his helmet falls and hits the rocks and the ring is there with his finger all cut off and yeah, no, I can't. This is no, no, <laughs> can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, <sighs> here's an HTC phone that I made. So I wasn't a total Apple fanboy. to at least give me that right. My dad actually picked up an iBook, a broken one ish from a garage sale and it still worked, but it had someone's files on it, but we wiped it. And this was my like first real setup. It was like a cheap four by three monitor um, with this old iBook. And I actually had to beg uh, somebody at my school to give me an adapter for it. And yeah, this was my setup. And, and although it didn't connect to the internet, I had a really fun time doing whatever I did without the internet. I've, I have no idea, I typed up Word documents, who even knows, but that was cool. And it ran Mac OS, I think, Mac OS X. It wasn't, it was, it was before Snow Leopard. I think it was Leopard. So yeah, that was, I think it was 10.5, yeah, and that was the setup that I had. There's another picture of my cat. This is a secret video. Noah, you are going into fifth grade, and you're a little bit nervous, but <laughs> we'll see you after school, and I'll watch this video, and I'll feel better. I did 
this way to come back last year. So, have fun at school and get ready for school and get ready for all the stuff that comes with it. And oh, yeah, like, you know, buddy. Like, it's okay. Yeah, I used to be really anxious about starting school for whatever reason, and then, like, literally two hours in, I'd be fine. Um, but yeah, I recorded that for some reason, and, um, yeah, like what I said, and all the, all the stuff that comes with school, and I just finished up college, and, yeah, this, it's, it's nice to see me super naive and, and not appreciating, you know, coloring books and, and spelling tests in the fifth grade, whereas now I am, you know, struggling to learn Microsoft Access and Excel and run a business, so, you know, it's good to reflect on these things, even though they're just f***ing cringy. I took this picture the day Steve Jobs died. I was pretty sad about that. Maybe not as sad as I, Justine, but I remember having a bad day because he passed away. So, yeah, that's that. Um, still, wish he was around. Maybe Apple would be different, but yeah, that, that explains that picture. Oh, this explains a lot. Okay, okay, I think I know what this is. Oh, no. So, it's, it's me dancing. Yep, it's me dancing. Wait, we're done doing the... So this is, this proves that I've been a Slav since day one. <laughs> I didn't know it yet, but I was a Slav. Oh, this was cool. This was a day to remember. And I'll just let myself narrate this to you. Hello, today is December 18th, 2011. As you see here, here's our old Dell computer. Worst it's computer. It's very slow. Now, as you see here, I'm going to walk somewhere that I don't right. want you to know. But I don't want you to know. You I want to show you. And here it is, right here. Ha ha, the new iMac. Yep, and this computer broke this year. Like, it just stopped working, and this... Yep, this was an iMac 21 and a half inch that we got. Core i5. And this is kind of close to where I'm shooting right now. I'm actually in my basement. And um, yeah, that was the day that we got our first Mac and I loved that computer to death. And it was my mom's up until once again, it got fried and is now useless. And last up, we have some piano playing here. This is the Angry Birds theme song. I played this at a recital and everyone was like, oh. <laughs> And that's, that's about all I can handle for today, guys. This has been quite the trip. I hope you enjoyed um, this expose of my 10-year-old self. Maybe I'll do it when I'm 30, if this channel is still around, who knows? I actually might do a retro review of this device, so let me know if you wanna see that. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed me making a fool of myself, my 10-year-old self, it's been fun. I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. I have some Surface Laptop 3, MacBook Pro 13-inch, iPad Pro, iPad Air 3, and more content coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.